Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel Learn English with Hamid. I hope you like my channel and I'm sure you find it useful. You know, a lot of students have requested for the part of speech series. And as part of that series, I'm going to start noun today. Well, a lot of you might think, well, I don't need to watch this video. I know what a noun is. But please, don't leave. Watch this video and watch it till the end. I'm sure you'll learn something new from it. So today we do part one and part two is coming soon. Let's get started. Okay, viewers, let's start. Parts of speech. In this part of speech series, I start with the noun first. And I'm sure all of you know what a noun is. We all know noun is the name of a place, person, and thing. Place could be Islamabad, Peshawar, Pindi, uh, Murray, Lahore, Karachi, New York, name of any place. Country name, a country's name, Pakistan, for example. Noun is the name of a person as well, Ahmed, Jamil, Javed. Noun is a thing as well, pen, chair, knob, for example. Most students know this. And uh, that's it. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not the end of noun. A noun is more complicated and more comprehensive than uh, just these three things. There are so many other things which is noun or which are nouns. For example, diseases and viruses are also nouns. Polio, diabetes, cancer, asthma, for example. The coronavirus was a virus or is a virus. So these, uh, any disease, any virus is a noun. Nouns are also the names of planets. Yes, planets are also nouns. Neptune, Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, they're also nouns. Our planet Earth, the Earth, the Sun, the Moon, all nouns. Games, yes, names of games. All games are nouns. Cricket, hockey, football, monopoly, billiard, nouns. What else is a noun? Feelings, yes. Feeling word or feelings are nouns. Love, hate, jealousy, cooperation, sympathy, empathy, catharsis. These are nouns. Similar to feelings are um, qualities. Good qualities or bad qualities, both of them are nouns. Bravery, patriotism, confidence, care, trust, excellence, covetous, uh, sincerity, they're all nouns. We see some of these qualities are uh, positive and some are negative. But uh, it doesn't matter. The quality is good or bad. All quality words are nouns. What else is noun? Yes, stationary items are also nouns. Pen, pencil, rubber, eraser, notebook, for example. Any stationary item is a noun. Moving on. Pieces of clothing, also noun. Shirt, t-shirt, tie, sock, sweater, jacket, for example. Or any other piece of clothing, noun. So we see noun is a very comprehensive, like a big term, a big word. It's not just the name of a place, person, and thing. There are so many other things that are nouns. Pieces of furniture. Yes, furniture pieces are nouns. Chair, table, desk, bed, for example, they are nouns. Political philosophies, ideology, systems of government, yes, they are also nouns. Democracy, dictatorship, fascism, Marxism, rationalism, these are also nouns. Any other philosophy, you name it. Building materials, yes, they are also nouns. Brick, cement, concrete, stone, sand, they are nouns. What else? Yes, fruit and vegetables are also nouns. Apple, orange, okra, uh, eggplant. So two uh, fruits, two vegetables. Uh, in Pakistan, uh, we use the term uh, lady's finger 
Uh, but I, I, I guess that's not correct. The proper word for bindi, as we say in Pakistan, is okra. Uh, lady finger is probably some, some sweet. So lady finger, I don't think is the right expression. If you know, if you're, uh, I'm sure lady finger is not the correct expression. The correct expression, the correct word for uh, bindi is okra. Uh, tell me in the comment section. Uh, if you think the same, eggplant, another uh, vegetable. The names of all vegetables and fruit, noun. Right. Now I want to ask you a question here. Do you know any feature or property of noun? What do you think? Any feature or property of noun? Uh, pause the video and make a guess. And uh, come back after some time and check. So let's check. All nouns are either countable or uncountable. This is one of the features of, one of the main features of noun. Take any noun. The noun is the name of a person, place, thing, vegetable, fruit, uh, uh, furniture items, building material. These nouns are either countable or uncountable. And most nouns in English are countable. It means they have a plural form. So a noun will either be countable or uncountable. So pen, book, car, they are countable words, countable nouns. Some nouns are uncountable, for example, and these are these feeling words, love, hate, bravery, feeling words, uh, quality words, but not all of them. The word luggage is also uncountable. Milk is also uncountable. So uh, most of the... Nouns in English are uncountable. Some of them are uncountable. And this is what creates problem for learners, these uncountable nouns. Because a noun is usually not countable and our students treat it as countable. They like pluralize it. They make it plural. And then uh, they make a mistake. And if that word is given to us in a paper, so we get it wrong and we lose marks. So maybe a good idea would be to know what kind of nouns are uncountable. So here is a list. It's not a complete list, but still, this will help. Liquid words are uncountable. Liquid words, milk, petrol, water, honey, alcohol, blood. These words are uncountable. Abstract ideas are uncountable. Advice, motivation, fear. Natural phenomena words are uncountable. Rain, ice, wind, hail. Feeling words are uncountable, as I just told you. Love, hate, jealousy. Gases are uncountable. Air, oxygen, or any other. Grains, all grains that we eat or <laughs> we don't eat, yeah, whatever grain. The eatable grain or the non-eatable grain. So we eat rice, wheat, barley, sugar, but we don't eat uh, sand. So sand is uncountable. So this is a list of uh, those nouns which are uncountable. Uh, what next? Yes, these are some more uncountable nouns. And this is what you must remember. Because usually these words are given in exam and this is what our students get these words wrong. So an interesting word is news. In news in our languages is countable, in, but in English news word is uncountable. Another word, advice, bread advice. Oh, I have written advice twice and I have written the word bread twice as well. Yes, bread is uncountable in English. In Urdu, in our languages, bread is countable. But in English, it's uncountable. Yes, jam, toothpaste, uh, for information, these words are uncountable. Kindness, iron. So, these words, you must remember, you must memorize. And that's what we have for today. Uh, that's not end of now. There is more to now that we that uh, we have covered today. Uh, I'm going to do part two soon. So thank you for watching, and uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and come back and watch part two. See you soon.